is today. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. And if you struggle going to certain people, my God, get somebody to come with you. Amen. <laughs> yeah. You ain't got to say nothing. Just be there for moral support. Amen. Come on, somebody. And you definitely can't move forward into the kingdom of God unless you handle your business. There are issues that many people never deal with, but you better deal with it if you're going to receive the forgiveness of sin. You can confess your sins, you can repent, and still got all this animosity in your heart towards somebody. Jesus said, if you don't forgive others, I will not forgive you. Now Jesus said that. Who want to fight that? Who want to put the boxing gloves on with Jesus and fight that? Uh, we got any heavyweights in here? We got any lightweights in here? It don't make no difference what your weight class is. Praise God. You better not get in the room with God. Because your arms are too short to box with. Huh? I'm telling you, people. I'm telling you. They have. Mm -hmm. They know the art they have in their heart. Right. I know some people have done stuff to us, and it seems like it's unforgivable. Right. How can I forgive you for that? Right. How can I? I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on today. A lot of incest going on today. A yeah. lot of pedophilia going on today. Yeah. All kind of stuff going on in our world today. Yes. But how many know you got to fight through all of that? Your heart need to be mended. Mm. Yes. Luke chapter yes. 4 verse 18. Yes. He said the spirit of the Lord is upon me. For God has anointed me Amen. to what? Preach the gospel to the poor and to heal the broken heart. Amen. Yes. Listen, people can come in your life. You would never think that these people would break my heart. You can give your heart to people and they'll shatter it in a yes, thousand amen. pieces. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. Hello. Amen. Oh, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. But I don't care how many pieces they shatter it in. Jesus can fix what is broken. Yes. He can put your back together again. what is broke. Yes, huh? And people need to be healed. Amen. Praise God. Amen. They need to be healed. But your healing starts with forgiveness. Amen. That's where it starts. Amen. You can't go around it. God's not ignoring it, so you can't ignore it. Anything that God is not ignoring, you can't ignore it. <laughs> you can't. No. You may want to, but you can't. Right. You can't ignore what God is not ignoring. Amen. God wants you to deal with it. You know why? Because he wants to heal your broken heart. Yes. He wants to fix your situation. He wants to forgive you of your sin. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on and bless God with a clap on you. Hello. Come on and bless God with a clap on you. Open up that prison door and let people go free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We holding people hostage. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah. We holding people hostage. Because mm -hmm. we don't want to forgive them. Yeah. So we throw them in our prison. And we lock it up. And we throw away the key. Yeah. It, we holding people hostage. Because yeah. we won't forgive them. Did you not know that's what you're doing? Amen. You holding people hostage. You're holding them in your own prison cell. And you 
deprive them of food and water. You're starving them to death. Hello. Amen. Am I making sense? Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Let the people go free. Amen. Yes. So that your healing can begin. Amen. Within your own heart. Amen. How many want to be healed? Amen. How many want to be forgiven? Amen. Well, if you got any issues in your heart toward anybody, you need to handle your business. Right. Amen. And I promise you that some of you got issues with other people. Amen. And you have not forgiven them. Uh, some people say, I forgave them. Then why you told about seven or eight more other people? After you said you forget. Because you haven't. We deceive ourselves. The Bible said, be not a hearer of the word, but a doer. A doer. For he that is a hearer and not a doer, you deceive yourself. You have to do what the word says. Otherwise, the Bible says you deceive yourself. So when you forgive others, you don't talk about it. You don't use it as an example. I won't just use it as an example. You, now, you don't need no example. The Bible said, an ungodly man diggeth up evil. You like to dig up everybody's past, what they did back in 2001. <laughs> because you always want to have something against them that I can use at the proper time. The Bible calls them a wicked person. Because Jesus never did such a thing, did he? When Jesus forgave, he forgave. When he forgave that adulterous woman, what did he say to her? He said, go and sin no more, lest the worst thing come upon you. And that woman left out of his presence, forgiven. And her, watch this. She wasn't just forgiven. Let me help y'all with this. Because you know how we are. We say we forgiven, but we go right back to all our stuff. Uh-uh. When that woman was forgiven, her life was drastically changed. But then you really have not repented. Right. Because repentance comes from the Greek word metanoia, which means to change the mind. Right. And if your mind has not changed from the lifestyle you, that you're living is contrary to Jesus Christ, you have not repented Amen. and you're still in your sins to this very day. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. Praise, God. Praise God. So, folks, I want to encourage you. Handle your business. Go Amen. to your brother or your sister. One scripture says, if you have an aunt with your brother, your sister, they won't hear you. Bible says, go get one or two other people and go to them. Amen. So that they can witness that you follow in biblical protocol. This is in Matthew chapter 18. Bible says that they won't hear you. He's talking about people in the church, not the folks in the world. He said, if they won't hear you, then bring them to the church. And if they still won't forgive, then count them as a heathen and a publican. Praise God. And that's when we exercise our authority to excommunicate them out the church. That's biblical protocol. Are you listening to me? Praise God. So if you got issues with anybody, you need to go to them people. You need to go to them. And a lot of people won't do it, praise God, because, you know, they're too prideful. Let me tell you something. I'm not that prideful where I'm going to put my soul in jeopardy. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. Because no man knows what shall happen this day. Amen. Now God has given everybody an opportunity, praise Amen. God, Amen. to get your heart right. mended. Because anytime you see people still talking about the same thing, they ain't forgiving you at all. They'll tell, they'll tell everybody they forgave, but they ain't forgave. They still hurt. You know why they still hurt? How do you know they still hurt? They still talking about it. And you will remain hurt. Because you never let God heal you. God has to heal you. But he can never start the process of healing you until you forgive. You gotta forgive. People listen. I will never make light anything that has happened in people's lives. But what I will tell you is, don't make what people have done to you so great to the point you lessen your sins against God and make what other people have done against you greater than what we did to, for the reason Jesus was put on that cross. Right, man. Don't ever make what 
somebody else did so great and your sins that you committed little. Don't you ever do that. Don't you ever do that. But God is greater than all of us and yet he's willing to forgive you. He's willing to show mercy unto each and every one of you. And because God is greater than you, you should be willing to forgive others Amen. for what they did to you. Just as God forgave you for what you did to him. And he had to put, he had to send his son to be crucified. So it should be, it shouldn't be that hard. We have to fight through some things. Yeah. Yeah. We, have to, we have to scratch and kick yeah. and peel back some layers to find that altar of repentance. Yeah. But you can make it there. Yeah. I'm telling you. Because the heart needs to be healed. Nobody wants to walk around hurt all the time. Yeah. I got any witnesses in here. Nobody wants to walk around hurt all the time. Mm -hmm. They can't even move forward in life. Mm -hmm. Five, it, that happened 10 years ago, and they still live in, it was since 2001. They still live in 2009. We in 2019, they still living in 2009. They living back then. And they think, because they, they talk about it to every time they can Harry, them people helping you. Them people ain't helping you. Right. Number one, you just furthering the damage. You're spreading your business, and when you spread your business, other people are going to spread your business too. When you can just keep your business in a small circle and deal with that individual. If they don't want to deal with you, then you go to God in prayer. And you ask God for forgiveness. That's all you can do because you can't make them people forgive you. But you got to be willing to forgive. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Come on and bless God. Stand to your feet. God is merciful. Anybody want to come for prayer? You can come for prayer. There's somebody you need to go to in here. You just need to find your way over to their people. Come on, somebody. Amen. You need to worry about who's looking at you, who's watching.